I'm going to show you how to completely uninstall VS Code from your Windows operating system. I'm emphasizing the complete part there because it's not enough to simply uninstall the program itself. There are some files associated with VS Code that you want to delete as well to really get that blank slate uh, if you're in a situation where you're trying to do a fresh reinstall. Step one, we are going to start with uninstalling the program. So let me close it out. And then I'm going to search for remove and find the option to add or remove programs in my control panel. Under the list of apps, I'm going to search for Visual Studio. And you'll note we often refer to it as VS Code, but that's not actually in the name. So make sure you're looking or searching for Visual Studio here. And once you locate it, click the three little dots and choose Uninstall. Confirm the uninstall. Confirm it again. And then we see confirmation that the uninstall was complete. So I'm going to click OK and close this control panel. For the next step, I'm going to go over to the notes that accompany this video and scroll down to step two. Uh, here we see two directories that we need to remove from our computer that contain some VS Code related files. To remove these directories, I'm going to open up PowerShell. If you're unsure where PowerShell is on your computer, you could search for it. And I'll start by copying the first provided command. So we're using the remove command. Uh, the path is using the tilde forward slash shortcut, which is just a shortcut for our home directory. And then within there, we have a subdirectory of app data roaming code where some VS Code related files are. So let's run that first removal. This message is asking if we're sure that we want to delete not just this directory, but the contents of the directory as well. So I'm going to enter the letter Y and hit enter. And then let's go copy our second removal command, type Y again and hit enter. And now we should be all set. VS Code should be completely wiped from our computers. And just as evidence of this, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, open up the installer, and I'll just very quickly go through each step of the installer. With that complete, I'll click Finish to open VS Code. And there we go, a brand new, fresh install of VS Code. We even see the default welcome page. We have the default color theme set. None of our previous settings carried over.